kept a shot in that mother second. Going to the most high on our behalf. And the most high said unto Satan, when it's coming thou, the Satan has to the most high has said, from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. So you got to look at this. In the spirit, while I'm here, I got to bring it forth because Satan is going to and fro up and down in the earth. In the earth, y'all. Doing what? Let me show you. So you know, without a shower of doubt, what he's doing. As he's going up and down the earth. Go to 1 Peter 5 and 8. Say, be sober. Don't be running around here drunk and, and not focused on what it is that this word is saying. Be vigilant. Yeah, diligent. Because your adversary, your enemy, adversary means your enemy, the devil, who's going with to and fro up and down in the earth. As a roaring lion, walking about seeking whom he may devour. That's his job. Seeking whom he may devour. Who resist steadfast in the faith. See? How you risk, risk the devil? You got unbelief. You ain't got no faith. Your faith is weak, small, without merit, a power. He said, look, who resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Going back to Job. Now we know Satan's going to and fro on the earth. See what? See what we've been devoured. Verse 8, Job 1 and 8. And the most I said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? Have you considered my servant Job that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feared the most high and is sure of evil? This is what Satan told him. Say, hey, Job was an upright man, perfect. One that feared the most high and the sure of evil. This is what Satan said. Did Satan answer the most high and said, Does Job fear thou the most high for not, for nothing? Has listen at this, has not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he have on every side? Have not you been protecting Job in his house on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. So but put forth thine hand now, and touch all that he has, and he will curse thee to thy face. So he's asking for permission, permission for the most high to put forth his hand, not the right hand, but the left hand. Oh, we know how much I was on the right hand. And he said, he'll curse you to thy face. The most high said unto Satan, Behold, all that he has is in thy power. He's giving him an order. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Most High. He started operating on the left hand side of the Most High to deal with Job because Job thought he was righteous, self righteous. That this shouldn't happen to him because he's, he's you know, perfect and he's like this, that, and the third. Somebody else can say it. Most High can say it. You better not be saying it. Bad example. See, that's why he got dealt with. You can't be like that. It's better to, to count yourself with one of the wicked than to think that you are all that. Listen to what he said. Just give you an example. Job 33 and 8. Surely thou hast spoken in mine hearing, and I have heard the voice of thy words, saying, I am clean without transgression. See? Self-righteous. I am clean without transgression. I am innocent. Neither is there iniquity in me. Behold, he find an occasion against me. He counted me for his enemy. He put my feet in the stocks. He marked my paths. Behold, is this thou art, excuse me, behold, and this thou art not just. And you saying this, you not justified in what you're saying, Joe. I will answer thee that the most high is greater than man. Why dost thou strive against him? For he gives not account of any 
of his of his matters. Hmm. See. Job 34 and 5. But Job have said, I am righteous, and the most I have taken away my judgment. Should I lie against my right? My wound is incurable without transgression. See, without transgression. I ain't did no sin. I don't deserve this. Verse 10. Therefore hearken unto me, listen unto me, ye men of understanding. Far be it from the Most High, that he should do wickedness, and from the Almighty that he should commit iniquity. Same happening with the Most High. All that he do is righteous. For the work of a man shall be shall he render unto him, and cause every man to find according to me and Cause every man to find according to his ways. Don't get it twisted. Look at verse twenty-one. For the eyes of them, for the, for his eyes are upon the ways of man, and he seeth all his goings. Right. His eyes are upon the ways of man, and he sees everywhere we go. He sees everything we do. And not only that, it's written in the books. So when the books are open, they say, you did this, and you did this, and you did that. Look at uh, Ecclesiasticus 23 and 29. Excuse me, 19. Ecclesiasticus in the Bible, 23 and 20 and 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men. They concern a lot of people. A lot of you out there concern how a man going to look at you. You fear the eyes of men. And know if not that the eyes of the Most High are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. See everything that's being done. That's why you got to look at this. As it says in Job 34, 21, For his eyes are upon the ways of man, and he seeth all his goings. There is no darkness, no shadow of death, where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. You ain't hiding from the most high. But he will not lay upon man more than right, that he should enter into judgment with the Most High. He shall break in pieces, mighty men, without number, and set others in their stead. Do what he said. He's going to break in pieces. That's why Masha Gosha is coming back to judge and make war. So he's going to break in pieces, mighty men, and set others in their stead. We know that Esau is the end of the world until you end. Second Ezra 6 and 9, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Therefore he knoweth, verse 25, therefore he knoweth their works, and he overturneth them in the night, so that they are destroyed. He striketh them as wicked men in the open sight of others. Let everybody see him do his work in striking them down. Because they turned back from him and would not consider any of his ways. We're not under the law. We're under mercy and grace. Where Israel, the Israelites are under the laws of the Most High. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. He has not dealt so with any nation. As for his, his judgments, they have not known him. Praise ye the Most High. Psalms 147, 19 and 20. So that they caused the cry of the poor to come unto him. And he hear the cry of the afflicted. See? You're going to hear our cry. But we the afflicted. The Israelites from all we've been through. But see, you can't be like Job was. You know, people don't really look at They look at Job. They read the first uh, passage of the Most High. 
saying that Job was perfect, but he had still this problem. But look what Job said, and going once again in Job 34 and 5. For Job has said, I am righteous. See? I'm righteous. Like, I didn't deserve this. I don't deserve this. You gotta understand. Most high look. Go to Jeremiah. 17th chapter. Let us know what we're talking about. Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. We just seen how Job's mind was deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Because that's why the most high dealt with him. That's such. Because he said, I'm righteous. No. Look. That's not marvelous. That ain't that ain't satis that ain't gonna be satisfied. Mosiah ain't with that. He's not with that at all. You know. Second Ezra 8, 48. Listen, right quick. And this also thou art marvelous before the most high. That's how we want to be. Marvelous before the most high. Those of the Israelites who I'm talking to. In that thou hast humbled thyself, first and foremost, if you humble yourself, as it becometh thee, and as not judge thyself worthy to be much glorified among who? The righteous. What did Job say? I am righteous. What the Most High said? In this also thou art marvelous before the Most High. And that thou hast humbled thyself, therefore there's no pride in Ezra, as it becometh thee, and have not, this is key right here, and have not judged thyself worthy to be much glorified among the righteous. He didn't include himself as one of the righteous. When you read uh, 2 Ezra 7, 51 down, you'll see, he tell you, you know, Paradise is promised to us, but we wicked. We, 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 over again. Our lot is in wickedness. Our lot is in evil. Not following the Most High. That's what the Most High says, marvels in his eyes. That take humility. Not to uplift yourself. But you got to believe in what it is that worked. You got to believe in what it is that does work. It worked, and it's going to work again and again and again. Because he says it's marvelous in the eyes of the Most High. That he humbled himself, therefore there's no pride there. But become as him. And it's not counted himself worthy to be counted as one of the righteous. Verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Why? Because they have walked in great pride. So humility is opposite of pride. That's the first thing he told him, hey, because you have humbled yourself. You got to, most I want a humility, he wants to be humble, and he wants to have a broken and contrite spirit before him. Say, for many great misery shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Why? Because they have walked in great pride. That pride is a damnable thing, y'all. It's a damnable, it's hateful before man and the most high. Say, but understand thou for thyself. But understand thou for thyself, Ezra. And those that are rolling in the spirit to be models before the Most High, it said, and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. So he's telling them to seek out the glory of those that be like Ezra, who didn't include himself as one of the righteous. That's all he's saying. You know, don't include yourself. Don't just most scripture sellers don't dare might make thyself one of the number. It says a righteous guest is going to be saved. But here you don't already put yourself there. And you teach the people that to follow the way you are. Some of you out there. Then they're going to feel that they're already there too. 
They ain't got to go through no motions of what you got to deal with to make it there. Because they already feel they're already there. And we in hell. Dealing with all these curses that the most I put upon us as a people. In every way, shape, and form. One way or the other. One way or the other. Hear what he said? Verse 51. But understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. So we're going to be like Ezra. Seek out those brothers. Though he was a righteous man, he said, hey, I'm with the wicked. I'm, hey, I'm, 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 I'm with them. I don't include myself in that. Most I will, I'll be one of the one-third of the 12 tribes of Israel. Some of you already got your seat on the chariots. You already in the kingdom already doing things. Most I will, will be judged righteous enough to be able to be there. But you don't know. Nobody know. Because you took the places of Mashiach ever side, judging according to the righteousness of the Most High. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of living power. So due to time, that's right, I'm going to end right there. I hope that was edifying for you. We can continue on this at another time. If you'd like more information, you can reach me, Priest Star Wilm, at P.O. Box 20012, Long Beach, California. Or you can email me at mreadyforyou at AOL.com, M R E A D Y F O R Y O U at AOL.com. Call me at 562 235 1226. Or if you'd like to send donations, you can send donations to www.payme slash shield of wisdom. PayPal, PayPal is payme slash shield of wisdom. Donation can be be very much needed because a lot of things going on that's going on that's for the future of helping we as a people and all those that do help the ministry I do thank you and the most high bless all of Israel by showing myself I was trying to come together get ready to get up out of here it's a lot of things in the making brothers and sisters be ready watch and pray and keep these commandments and fear the most high and cry to the most high that we may be delivered. With that, I'm out. Shalom.